okay so we have come to the final session now going forward we will start doing the questions and we'll see how uh, the concepts which we studied can be put to use to solve the questions few final points to remember when you are attempting your essay writing session one of the important mistakes which people make is they try to complicate the sentence by using terms which they do not know uh, quite well uh, these are words which might sound very complicated but might mean completely something else so do not complicate the sentences or use unfamiliar terms in your essay do there's al always a chance that somebody discussing the topic can go off topic you know trying to elaborate on some particular point you start moving in a completely different direction from the core topic so always make sure that you stay on the topic and your essay is answering the question that has been asked rather than just going about point 3 do not write very long essays okay now this is something that you can only uh, ensure if you practice uh, writing questions so the problem is when you attempt or when you try to write very long essays there is always a chance that you can uh, make mistakes or you might have more grammar mistakes in it so always try to stay you know just about the word limit of 250 words you'll have to practice at home and see how much uh, a 250 word essay would come up to point 4 please ensure that you use the right framework for your essays so depending upon the type of topic depending upon the question that is being asked frame your answer in a suitable way do not use a general framework for every uh, essay try to use the appropriate framework always structure your essay so there are some people who write essays in a very in a continuous fashion where there is no separation there is no paragraphs the basic problem with such essays is it becomes very difficult for the reader to understand where the introduction starts where the body starts or where the conclusion happens so it is always advised that you should structure your essays uh, by giving a uh, different paragraphs for introduction body and conclusion ensure that your minimum word limit of 250 words is met now this is something that we discussed earlier make sure that you practice writing essays on multiple topics and understand what a 250 word essay would look like so ensure that your essay is above the 250 word limit otherwise you will lose points if it is below 250 words make sure you include all the points mentioned in the question so it is very important to uh, include all the points that was asked in the question in your essay very very important point write very legibly and clearly if they cannot read it they will consider it to be an error in your essay so make sure that you write legibly and clearly please ensure that your points do not contradict so this is a point which we discussed earlier on in the lecture always have a easy and clear idea flow in your essay do not write points which contradict with one another this will create an impression in the reader's mind that you did not understand the topic well so make sure that your points do not contradict write your essay with pencils it is extremely important that you write the essays with pencil because it is easier for you to make corrections later on check the spellings and the basic grammar make sure that as you write you check the spellings and the grammar that is being used because you will lose mark for spelling errors and for grammar errors do not abruptly end your essay practice on how to frame a good introduction and conclusion it is very important do not just abruptly end your essay when you feel like your 250 word limit has been met make sure that you give a suitable conclusion which summarizes your entire essay so keep these points in mind and start practicing your an essay writing session attempt as many essays as possible before going for the exam all the best and thank you